I feel like we really didn't get a good um, run of these clips because only the last bit went on so long. I just felt like I wanted to play at least this game to several people out there. And I know it will come across whoever it is destined to come across. My videos, just no interest in them. They don't come across as too bad by accident. Okay. You were meant to see them. Welcome home, Star Pet. Like, comment, and subscribe. We've been waiting for you. So, we're going to cleanse the decks and the energy of all negative energy, any and all negative energy, only beings of the purest white is white. May serve this reading and give me some advice. reading now. Yes, yes, ma'am. Amen, amen, and amen. Aho and so it was. Well done, well done, written. Damn print. Done. So, I thought we would get some dragon. Oops. Strawberry came out again. <laughs> Strawberry came out again, you guys. My ancient study wants me to celebrate, baby. We enjoy life to the fullest in abundance until it overflows regardless of where you are or what situation you're going through I know that can be very difficult very hard to do um, but it is the only way to live okay if you're sacred on the inside if you're full of abundance if you walk in the fruits of the spirit you're wealthy beyond measure regardless of what it looks like on the outside the outside is an illusion um, I know some of you are like, well, that's easy to say. It really, okay, so on all my channels, I have a main um, cover video. And it is a, a word that Ava gave me for the masses, okay? That's why it's on every channel. And um, when I made that video, I was completely homeless, starving, and I think that night it got below freezing. And um, you, you, you can see I'm singing. Okay? So that needs to be our position in life regardless. Three, three, three on the clock as I say that. The ascended masters are with you, darling. Okay, so let's get some more cards here. So just know if you're struggling, hey, spirit all's been there. And look, you can look on the time. That hasn't been that far away. Abba can turn things around in an instant, darling. You need to understand that everything you go through is for God's glory. Okay? I was meant to go through that so that I ex could explain that lesson right there to some of you, you see. I passed that test. Now, had I not passed it, I wouldn't be able to explain it to you, and then I would have gone through it for no reason or retaken the test, yes? Okay, thank goodness I won't have to retake that one. Anyway, I've already passed through the portal. So another ball game over here for me. Level up, level up, level up. But yeah. Okay, so let's find out what else my ancient journey was. Raspberry dragon. Whoop, whoop. Kindness is where it's at. Ancient shining ones. You see, any aliens out there, be kind. Because we are family. <laughs> Literally, like, um, you know, unless they're the bad kind, which in that case, get on your knees and start praying immediately because they'll sense the presence of God. All right? So, um, anyways, but be kind to people. So good seed, guys. Be kind to everyone everywhere be consistent in your kindness so important it's so important to be consistent in your kindness especially to your enemies 
Okay. Now don't get it twisted. Check them. Okay. Jesus didn't play. What did he do? He threw freaking things over in um when they were selling stuff. And he says, What is my is is my father's house a den of thieves? Okay, that's just an example, but I mean he didn't play. He put people in their place. Okay. But that didn't mean he loved them any less. Judas betrayed him with a kiss. Right? He he knew from the get Judas was going to do it. But he still loved Judas. You guys understand what I'm saying? So be consistent in kindness because you sowing good seed, regardless, it affects you, not them. When you get mad, when you get in strife, when you stir up all that stuff, all you're doing is affecting yourself. You're not affecting anyone else. You're kicking your own ace. So don't do that. Sow good seed only. Always sow good seed, guys, because you're going to reap a harvest. Some 20, some 30, some 100 fold, and some 70 times 7. Okay? Stealth. You, yeah, you guys have to be cunning. Don't be telling people your movement. Don't be telling people your ideas. Don't be telling people your downloads. None of that because there's dark forces at play right now. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood. Okay? And they looking to trip you up to dim your light. Because they don't want you out here breaking these chains and setting people free. Because people are literally covered in chains in the spirit realm. Okay, guys? So... Be very careful. Be discerning about who you're sharing your business to. I suggest you keep it to yourself anyway, regardless, right? Unless Abba or your higher power lays it on your heart to reveal something, then you can't, right? That's just me. Always obey your higher power. Always obey Abba, regardless of what other people say. Okay? It don't matter what other people say. Abba comes first, right? But, I mean, if you're like, if Abba's like, hey, you know, do what you want, you know, then I suggest bank staying stealth because of the, the, um, because Abba will give you free reign like that, you know, so you, you can get to a level spiritually where you really have a little bit of free reign to do what you want and what you please because you've walked so closely with the divine and passed so many tests that you're able to Become your own apostle or become a disciple, right? You understand what I'm saying? You create your own section of the Bible. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Somebody felt that. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Versatile. This came out in the last. Uh, reading, so some of you, if you haven't seen the last reading about the star people, go watch it. You'll be blessed. You'll be blessed. Okay? Um, and stay versatile. Stay switching things up. Multitask. Okay? Don't ever let them get it twisted. Don't ever let them think they got you pinned because they don't. They don't. They don't and they never will. Because we're way too busy vibing high. In God's hands, boom, boom, boom. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. This looks like an eye to me. Similar, similar eye to me. Shining bright. Okay. My trust in life is implicit. God's greater knowing and greatest love guide my heart and my voices. My faith is steady, and I remain true to my light. Everything unfolds according to God's will. Yes, um, Cheesyano just did a vid on this. The elect of God, y'all go check them out. I share um, several people on my community tab. They're absolutely amazing. They definitely are part of the Rainbow Warrior Revolution. So. Um, for those of you that don't know about the Rainbow Warrior Prophecy, please go look at the last link pinned in the comments, okay? Um, watch it, okay? 
and join the revolution. But um, anyways, he says, you trust fall. You just trust fall. Every time, you, it doesn't matter what, you just trust fall. You trust fall. And God catches you every time. And that is exactly how it is in the spirit realm. You know. That's the reason he knows me so well, because we both walk so closely with the divine. Right, we understand each other. We have an understanding, so um, that's exactly what this card means. Everything unfolds according to God's will. Romans eight twenty eight. Everything works out good for the, those who love Him. Okay, not the wicked. You see, people. A lot of people get it twisted. They think the wicked are people who are in the shadow, who don't believe in God, who are atheists or whatever. Right, and they're just out here running in these streets, sowing bad seed you know, doing things to hurt people and things like that, right? No, the wicked are those who claim to be followers of God, yet they do things in the shadow that God would not be pleased with consistently, and they hide and wear masks. That, my dear, is the wicked... A lot of people don't understand that when um, God talks about, you know, the devil comes disguised as an angel of light, you know, they don't understand that Jesus was talking about people in the church, not people of the world. People in the church are the wicked. Followers of Christ, people who claim to be believers. That's why it says many will come to me on that day. And they will say, I prophesied in your name. I cast out demons in your name. I, uh, you know, um, gave to the poor in your name. And he will say, go away from me because you knew me not. Big. Many people think whenever the verse where he talks about don't cast pearls to swine, they think they're talking about people of the world. No, they're talking about people in the church. They were talking about the Sadducees and Pharisees of that day. That would be people high up, ranked in the church in nowadays time. That would be like deacons, pastors, uh, you know, pope, the pope, things like that. Like people who claim to be followers of Christ, but inside they are like ravenous wolves, sheeps in wolf clothing. People think that they're talking about the world. No. Those people, the people of the world are ignorant. They don't know God. So they don't even know that they're being wicked. The wicked know. That's what they know. Wicked. You see. Sheep and wolves clothing are people who claim to be followers of Christ or people who claim to know God on a higher level, but inside they are a wolf. They say. They wear a mask. Okay? That's what all those verses are. Don't believe me? Go study them. Go read them in Hebrew, Aramaic. Study the actual meaning of those words. Okay? I've done it. I've done it all. I did that as a teenager. Okay? But yes. This is what this means. You trust fall. You trust fall. You trust fall. You trust fall. Regardless, you trust fall, and God catches you every single time. Okay. So that's for somebody out there. 1444 on the clock. 1484. I am calling you. That's why we we want people to repent and turn from their wicked ways back to the divine, back to God, back to their higher power, right? So that Abba will heal our land so that the earth can be healed, okay? The only way to do that is to make sacrifices. If you guys have not seen the end of the spear, I share it on the community, on every single community tab of every single channel I have. For those of you that don't know, I have seven other channels, okay? 
Um, please watch the end of the spear because that's what's going to have to happen in these last days. Are you willing? Okay. Education, 35, break it down to an eight. Life is filled with lessons, be teachable. You guys got this before. So someone here um, has trouble. Someone here is, you know, stubborn. You think you know everything. Ugh, you guys, listen, there's nothing worse than thinking you know everything. I promise you that. I had that ego death. Ugh. It hurt, too, apparently, back in my teen years. But, yeah, no. The best thing you can do is become a student of life and learn from everyone. Everyone is your teacher. Everyone, even an ant, a butterfly, the rain. Every single thing can be your teacher. Okay, wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, or your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school. Ask a person who might know more than you do or find a teacher or a course of study so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school and you must learn by experience. Now is the time to be teachable, open to changing your preconceived notions, be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all, I don't know yet. Very obvious people who are walking in their ego. You'll see them. They will be pompous. They will. <sighs> they always glorify themselves. That's the main. That is the absolute main sign that someone is walking in their ego. They're constantly pompous, constantly building themselves up, constantly putting other people down, and constantly talking about how awesome they are and amazing they are, and they're never giving their higher power the glory okay that's how you can tell they haven't had that ego death yet they are definitely not a student of life they are still learning okay i mean they're <laughs> they're not a teacher baby even though they're acting like one 33 okay master teacher coming out here peaks of joy and it's those that humble themselves that abba will lift up you see Pride always comes before the fall. So if you've been prideful, ask for forgiveness. Change your route immediately. Unless you, you're going to enjoy the spanking because it's going to hurt. Like, I mean, this is the reality. I've gotten that spanking many times. Like, it, it's no fun. So I'm trying to warn you in advance so that, like, you know, you can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, give God the glory. Don't take it for yourself. All right. Your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. Joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of achievement, and you've worked hard for it. You've surround, you're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is a is thinking a beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness because joy is contagious. And that is so true. And see, you guys, that's why with people, you know, that I have cut off or whatever, I don't get into it with them, if y'all have noticed. I just, done. And I remain full of joy, full of peace, completely unbothered. 
And the reason for that is, and it's not fake. Like, you know, many of them will pretend to be unbothered, pretend to be at peace, yet, you know, they're constantly spying on me, copying me, and, you know, doing everything they can to, you know, irritate my peace, pretty much, because they're not in peace. Okay, it's a mask. And the difference is, you know, I've been through a, a lot in my life. Okay? And it demands respect. Okay? I've earned my stripes. Okay? They're just getting theirs. So that's the difference. And all I'm trying to say is, I'm not trying to say I'm better than anybody, so please don't misunderstand me because no one is any better than anyone else. But what I am saying is when you're truly full of joy, even God will cause even your enemies to be at peace with you because, see, they're watching me consistently, right? They're copying me. They're watching me. They're observing. Even if they're acting like they're not, they are, okay? And I know this. And so they're learning. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. They're learning. They're changing. They're growing. They're inwardly reflecting. And that is the job. Job well done. We're getting it done out here in these streets, guys. So simply lead, okay? And let Abba take care of the rest or your higher power, okay? Be full of joy because it's contagious. Because, see, these people, they want what, what I have. They want that joy. They want what you got, um, ancient shining ones. For those of you that have what I have, the, the, you know, because I know some of you do, the, the spirit of joy, right? The anointing of joy. Okay? Um, don't ever lose it. Don't ever, you know, not be full of joy because it's irritating other people because what they're – the truth is, they might just, you know, get a little contagious and, and want some of that joy, too. And then what are we doing? It's a domino effect. And that's what it's all about. Hey! I love you guys. Y'all stay prayed up. Stay suited up. And keep going along the red road. <laughs>